we are talking about the best teams in Marvel Strike Force November edition. Let me know what you think about the list and let me know what your parents would have did if they caught you jumping on the couch. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We have the Astral Team. The Astral Team is a new hotness, right? They're the brand new team and the rule always applies. Unlock the newest team, get the newest characters. They have the best stats. Now the Astral Team is made for Battle World. There's a new game mode. We're not 100% sure what they're gonna do in the rest of the game, but these are the guys you wanna get a hold of. Right now you can start working on Moon Dragon. We can find her in Nexus 5-3. And we have Doctor Strange at Heroes Node 4-9. You can start using those characters right now as Battle World is live. You can use them right here in the Elite Mission. It says take Astral or Pegasus. And if you're a newer player, you're not going to have any Pegasus members. You don't want to build your Pegasus members. You want to build the Astral team. You can use them right here in the Elite Mission to score some points. The best overall team in the game right now is still the spider society so again if you're new and you're coming to the game this is the team you want to work on this is the team you want to invest in they're good in all game modes maybe not so much in arena but everything else they will do work for you and help you get things done we will indeed get some help during the month-long calendar on the left side you see we have pegasus members there we're not really going to worry about them but the guy on the right we have Spider Society members. So make sure you log in this month, the month of November, to help get your Spider Society up and running. The most important game mode in Marvel Strike Force is the arena. This is where you get your power cores, your premium currency, and you need that premium currency to do so many different things. So scoring high in arena is a must. The best overall arena team in Marvel Strike Force is the Annihilators. And right now, they're becoming farmable. Gladiator, Gore, and Thanos, you weren't able to acquire them until now. We're able to start getting them in the Battle World store, so make sure you participate, get your arena team up and running. Uh, if you need the other two members, if you need Silver Surfer and Ultimus, we can find those guys. Uh, here's Silver Surfer. He is in the Blitz store. You can also find him in the Doom campaign on Doom Node 1-9. Ultimus is a dark dimension reward character we can find him in dark dimension 3 the only requirement is gear tier 14 characters not very difficult if you have stronger characters perhaps you can go without surfer in ultimus but if you're still building up your team that's where you find those two other characters and as we note the battle world store we see it is up and running there's gladiator we have endgame thanos so two annihilators will pop up in those two spots we have hank pym on the right side and now we have Gore. So this picture is taken on a different device. But again, we're just illustrating those annihilators will rotate through those first two spots. Those three characters will rotate through the first two spots. So let's check out how I'm doing in Arena. We're trying to do a lot better to make sure we get those power cores. So last time we spoke, I was ranked 101st in my Arena Shard. And right now, at the time of this picture was taken, I'm at 80. So we're trying our best to stay inside that top 100, if at all possible. So coming in at number four in my Arena Shard, UTP2. Props to Walk Stars of No Cap from the No Cap family. Good to see you, brother. Um, we got Apocalypse, Mephisto, Odin, and then two Annihilators, Gladiator and Thanos. The reason why we're looking at this is because if it's working at the top, if we can get a hold of it, it'll work for us as well. Coming in at number three is Czar. And again, we see some Annihilators, right? We have Gladiator, we have Gore, then there's Odin, Mephisto, and Apocalypse. Coming in at number two, something I never thought I would see. King Sheet is in second place. He's been number one since we've been doing this uh, these videos. He's in second place today. We got Odin, Mephisto, Nightcrawler, and then we have Gladiator and Thanos. So again, we have some Annihilators there. If it's working at the top, it will work for you as well. And so then coming into number one spot is Zig. We've seen him moving up in the ranks lately, uh, but he has the same team, right? So it's Apocalypse, Odin, Mephisto, and we have two Annihilators in the form of Gladiator and Thanos. The most impactful character in Arena right now seems to be Mephisto. And so as we look at the top 10 of this arena shard, number nine and above have him, number 10 does not. So last time we checked in, it was a top six. Now it's a top nine. And those individuals, because they have that character, are able to push their way to the top. So it just demonstrates the importance of getting the newest 
Dark Dimension character. Now, this is my account. So last time we spoke, we were level 98. I have now made it to level 100. So it took till November to get to level 100. Uh, there are some caveats with that we could discuss further. But essentially, this is what I'm working with. I have four of the Annihilators and Lady Deathstrike because she's one of the stronger characters I have. Raids. Raids are the next most important game mode, in my opinion. You get a lot of things there to keep your characters powered up. So let's make sure that we have the best raid teams available. Raids come in two flavors. The spotlight raids are one of the things you're going to need to advance, and you need the Spider Society to do that. So again, we said they're one of the better teams in the game. We're going to see them pop up frequently throughout the rest of the video. The second team you're going to need is the Alpha Flight team. So they're also being used on war defense. You have the Spider Society that's used in Spotlight. They're also used in the Orcus raid, and you have Alpha Flight, Spotlight team, and they are an Alliance War defense team. As you see, I still need a few more shards of those characters. So since I need them, uh, some of you guys probably need them too. So we have Guardian who has been moved to hard mode, Heroes Hard Mode 7, 9. You can farm him there. And hey, while we got a second, another hero. See him down there in the chat. He unlocked Super Skull. Congratulations, my dude. Congratulations. Next up, we have North Star. He's in the war store. He also seems like he pops up in the other specialty stores also but hey his primary location is the war store when you see him then we have sasquatch who is in the arena store in doing your spotlight raids you get spotlight raid orbs as a reward they move around the characters that are in here to help you continue to power up your roster so let's see what we got right now this month in november in the middle spot you're always going to have black panther shuri for the month of november and that's a guarantee of five character shards so during this month this is how you're going to be farming your Black Panther Shuri up. On one of the sides, these are the characters that are available. 20% chance to land on one of these characters. You'll get two shards if you do. You got Guardian, North Star, and Sasquatch there of the Alpha Flight team. You also have Dokken and Pandapool for the Mercs for Money team. Lots of other characters on the other side of the orb. We got Agatha there for Night Stalkers as well as Moon Knight. We got Moon Dragon and Strange like we just talked about for Astral. Lady Deathstrike, Scientist Supreme uh, for the Orcus team. Most other raids in this game need characters from these five following traits. So for example, Mutant. The best Mutant team in the game right now is the Extreme X-Men. The best Mystic team in the game are the Night Stalkers. So these are still kind of trickling in. There's no way to really farm the newer characters like Blade, Oath, and Man-Thing. Man-Thing is the month-long character, so we will unlock him just by playing the game. However, if you're still building, you can get Moon Knight and Agatha right now. They're both farmable in game. The best skill team in a game is the Spider Society. So again, this team keeps popping up. They are the best skill team for raids overall. When it comes to tech, the best tech team in the game is Orcus. So we got Sentinel that just got done with a battle pass. I think we got Nimrod coming up with a battle pass. Lady Deathstrike and Scientist Supreme are farmable if you need them, but to get through the tech section, Orcus is where it's at. And for the bio section, Hive Mind is the best team for the bio section. All the teams that you've seen so far, I'm able to uh, sim the nodes on base difficulty with the characters at the power levels that you see. So how's it worked out for us? Well, if we look at the rankings, we are currently, uh, Guardians of No Cap are ranked 4,283 in the raid leaderboards and so we've lost a little bit of ground we were at 3478 juice given the time of year we have some attrition going on we're losing some members if you would like to uh, join up the link is always in the description below let's move on to the next game mode cosmic crucible this is uh, a lot of people's favorite game mode so far we went 50 and 31 this season so last time we spoke we went seven and five i could have did better but as always the boss of cosmic crucible is my boss and so sometimes because of work i'm not always able to play but we have accomplished this we are now 69 000th place our uh, last time we were ranked 107 000. so we're doing really well we're doing better in the e season rewards so if you just keep working you just keep playing right results happen things get done what are the best teams for cosmic crucible well we have the illuminati so we have an interesting event coming up for Captain Britain. I don't know if I'm going to unlock him. I only got 20 shards. But otherwise, 
the Illuminati are a very, very strong Cosmic Crucible team. Now we know that Black Panther Shuri is farmable, Hank Pym is farmable, we're able to power up this team and do some more damage. If you need the other members, you can get Mr. Fantastic on Nexus 3-6. And just a reminder that Hank Pym is in the Battle World store. The other persons, Iron Man and uh, Black Bolt, they are legendary members. You're gonna find them early in the events section if you don't have them unlocked already. Another extraordinarily powerful Cosmic Crucible team is the Cabal. They only have three members. You can flex in two more villains, preferably, to really get the best bang for your buck. That's how the team is supposed to work. So even if you don't have a full team, you can still get something done. Superior Six, another team that was built for Cosmic Crucible. So we got Green Goblin Classic on the end there on the left. You kind of need him to really make this team go to really be good in Crucible. These are the Superior Six members. They're very strong. They'll get a lot done for you. Alliance War is another very good game mode. You need your whole alliance to make it happen. Uh, so as you see, we're kind of falling off. Overall, our record is 80 and 51, so we're still winning, but we went 3 and 12 since the last time we spoke. Uh, we're losing some members, so again, feel free to apply. We just need people to be aggressive, and that way we can get some stuff done and get those better rewards. We were currently ranked 4,553 last time we spoke. 3,151 so we're starting to fall back it is just that time of year holidays and whatnot people are uh, moving on to bigger and better things but if you're interested please put in an application to the no cap cluster some of the best overall alliance war teams are now undying now i don't like zombies and stuff like that but zombie scarlet witch just came to the game this team is extremely powerful so if you haven't unlocked scarlet witch i think they're going to give you a couple more shards her event just ended so it's going to be a minute to you actually unlock her. But if you did get her, this team is super strong. One of the best in the game. Followed only maybe second, maybe, to this team here, the Mercs for Money. Mercs for Money, extraordinary. Alliance for a team being led by Old Man Logan. He's a legendary character. So you need him once again to make the team work. If you don't got him, you're definitely not going to see as much results as you would otherwise. Another good Alliance War team is out of time. They can take a lot of damage and the Black Knight gives out a lot of damage. So this is a team that you can use to eliminate other pesky teams that you might have struggles trying to get through. And we wanted to go ahead and put Gamma on the list. So Red Hulk, he's a legendary character, a horseman character. Not too terribly difficult to get a hold of. I know I don't have them all built up, but on my main account, this is a team that we're still using with the new rules right now for Alliance War. This team has become much more valuable. So they, if you have extra, you got to have extra. They're worth building up. Otherwise, New Avengers. New Avengers, also a really, really good team on offense. Uh, yeah, we weren't expecting them to last this long, but they're still good. They can still do a lot of work in Alliance War. Another team that's really, really good is the Sinister Six. So there's the Superior Six and the Sinister Six. So the members are expanded. You want to grab hold of Mysterio. You want to grab hold of Vulture. Those two probably help you make out your Sinister Six team. The other members, Electro, Shocker, and Rhino, maybe not so much, but make sure you pick up Mysterio and Vulture. They're really good. When it comes to working on the Horsemen on the Path to Apocalypse, are uh, not too challenging with the teams that we already mentioned. I'm just being lazy. I need to make my way through. Uh, so you need these four members. They're not super strong these days, but they will put you on a path to Apocalypse, who is a great character. So if you are indeed looking for a new alliance, right, we got spots open in the no cap cluster. The green lights are open. So you see that's Orcus. Most of those are more or Orcus teams that people are looking for. Max difficulty. There are some green lights available. So there's some openings there. Make sure you apply. The Discord link is in the description. It's always in the description. We got the walk stars of no cap. I think they're doing the smaller version of Orcus, but they do have spots open if you're interested. And if you are a brand new player, we do have spots open in our new player alliances. There's actually two that have spots open. So if you're a brand new player, again, come on in, apply. Let's work together to get good. In my alliance, we personally have four spots open, actually a couple more. There's a couple people that haven't logged in. So it's probably like six spots. But hey, if you found value, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And if you're still interested, pay attention to this video over here.